Hello, unique diverse. You are welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, one of my subscribers sent this particular picture to me, and she begged that I should teach how to make this design. So I used this material to form the first design she sent to me, and I later made that design to get advanced. Like I added bow loop on top of it in order to make the design come out better. So let's start with the training. I'll be using a raw silk fabric for this, you understand? And the length of this fabric measures 23 inches by 16 inches width. I'll be using this for the base. And after cutting out my fabric, I had to measure 5 inches for the band. Here, I didn't cut out the band separately. So I added the band to the base, which is 5 inches. That particular point I showed you now is 5 inches. So after marking out my band, I folded it this way. And I use my sewing machine to sew down. Please, if you want to cut out your band different and attach to your base, you can go on to do that. But as for me, I didn't really see the need to do that. So that was why I used my pin and you'll be sewing this edge down. Okay, after, after sewing, this is the outcome of the whole thing. This is the back view and you can see how it looks. So this is the front view. Alright, next thing I'll be doing now is to curve the back of the turban cap base. Alright, so I'll be using my scissors to trim off the excess part as usual. After doing this trimming, I will set this turban cap base aside. Alright, the fabric I'm holding, please, I'm sorry, I didn't know this part is blood, but you still see the clarity, it's very clear later. So this length of this fabric measures 24 inches by 17 inches width, okay? 24 inches by 17 inches width. So um, this will be used for that plate you saw on that top and she sent. And I first of all marked 1 inch. First of all, mark out 1 inch. Then you start marking 1.5, 1.5, 1 1.5 throughout. I don't know if you get me. So from after marking out 1, one inch, I start marking 1.5 throughout so if you watch closely you will see that i've already marked out on my fabric you can use your ruler to do this marking but i didn't see the need for that so that first part is one inch then you start marking 1.5 throughout okay to so get down here once you get down you you observe that the last part measures one inch so top one is one inch and the down part is one inch i'm going to do same thing throughout the fabric and I'll be taking it down to my sewing machine and I'll sew this way. You fold and don't sew the edge this way. Okay, I won't be showing you how to form this plate. I've taught how to plate many times on this um, channel. Yes, you can check out my, my, my channel to see where I showed a detailed part on how to form your plates. Alright, please check out this video, this particular video on my channel. It will give you a guide on how to form your plate perfectly. Alright, so I'm done forming mine and this is how it looks. You can see the front view. Okay. Alright, so at the back of it, I will be counting four. You can see it. One, two, three, four. And that fourth part, I will take the, the this edge to it. Please watch what I'm doing. To take the edge to it and I will pin down. The reason why I'm pinning down is for you not to get confused. You know, there are many plates there. Please count four and you attach that tip to the fourth part before sewing down. You see it. So you take it to your sewing machine and sew this edge. In fact, take it to your sewing machine. That part that you sew, make sure you tack on top of it again. Okay, whatever you do to this side, you'll be doing it on the other edge. This particular part that exact four you counted you're going to do something to this one then you fold as usual take to your machine and sew all right you can see the outcome of mine um this will be used for that top plate that top design so after doing this i'll be attaching it to the base so i'll be bringing my base this is the base which i did formerly i'll be attaching this to it but before attaching it, take your measuring tape and mark five inches, five inches from this from this band to this part. You're going to mark five 
inches. So once you are done marking out your 5 inches on the left side, you'll be doing the same for the right side. Then once you are done doing that, you'll be taking the, the particular plate which you folded, that top design, you're going to place it on top this way. Okay? Please, while doing this, guys, um, make sure that your fabric touches the band, this point. Like that band, divide it into two. You understand? I'm going to place it at this spot. Make it to touch the band very well. So I'll use my pin to hold it down. So while sewing, it won't shift. Then that part you marked 5 inches. Adjust this plate. Make it to come towards you. Understand? They adjust it. Then I'm going to tack it down too. And that 5 inches. I'll be doing something to the other side. You pin the edge before take into your sewing machine okay and after doing that pinning you will sew this edge down and also sew the other side down all right so um i'm done sewing mine and i'll be using this piece to form my gathers it measures 5.5 inches by 4 inches width so i'm going to fold this way and sew once you're done sewing i'll turn it out then use it to form my gathers Alright, I'll be attaching this way. Make that wrong side to face you. Make sure the wrong side will be facing you. I'm going to place it this way and you sew with your sewing machine. I'm going to sew the tip. But avoid that plate while sewing. Then I'm done doing man. I will turn it and make sure that the sewn part is hidden under the plate. You can see the way I did mine. Okay. Um I'll be folding the turban base this way. So fold it into two this way. We take it into my sewing machine and I will sew down. Yes, I'm done doing mine. You can see the outcome. And next thing I'll be doing is to form my gathers with my needle and thread. And this is the outcome of the whole thing. So um that design she sent. This is the outcome. But after doing this, I wanted to add more design to it. I wanted it to look more touched, more beautiful. So, I cut out the fabric which made was 57 inches by 6 inches width. So, um, we're folding it this way and you sew the edge down. I'm going to sew it down. This outcome of mine. And you'll be turning it. Make sure the sewn part is at the middle side. And I'll be taking my 3 inches crinoline. You can use any color of choice. 3 inches crinoline and I'll be inserting it. I had to use my masking tape to close the mouth so it won't rub the fabric, so it won't scatter the edge of the fabric. So um, I rubbed my candle gum at the tip of it to lock it up so I'll make sure that the crinoline didn't, um, doesn't come out, okay? So I'm going to do the same to the edges. Um, Here, remember what we cut out is 57 inches, right? So so I had to piece this it, alright, after sewing the whole thing and inserting my crinoline, I used my scissors to make it to come in pieces. So I had, I got three pieces of fabric. Um, The long part measures 20 inches, the second one 18, and the last one 16 inches. So I will be forming my bow, that three bow I formed there, I'm going to locate the center of the fabric, then fold this way and take to my sewing machine okay make sure that you cross it very well before taking your sewing machine and you will sew it down yes i will do something to these other two pieces so this outcome you can see the way it looks yes so i'll be joining the three of them together please if you want to get like four or five you add more fabric to it and you can get many many so I'm okay with this three. I'm using my needle and thread to tack it down and this is how it looks. Okay, so getting this um turban, I added my turban leaf so it makes it to be firm. Please, you can first of all attach this this bow before forming your loop. I don't, if you, I don't know if you get me. You, you can first of all take this bow, attach to that um to that top plate before putting your loop but i had to do it this method because i want to show you guys 
the design the one of my subscribers sent. Yes. So I'm um, after attaching it and adjusting, I'm going to use your needle and thread to hold it here. This sewing part is optional, it's not a must you sew. For those that want to adjust this from left to right, so I mustn't sew it. But I had to sew. So next fabric I'll be using now to cover the whole thing up. Measures 30 inches by 6 inches width. I'll be doing same thing that I did on that um on that bow part, which is turning it and making the sewn part to be at the center. Then I'll be using my three inches screen on you can see the way it is. Don't forget to lock up the mouth with any of your tape. Alright. So um what I'll be doing now is to start forming the round i don't know what i call it but i rolled the crinoline in this way that was how i got that top design no i'll call it so i rolled it this way and it gave me that design which i used in covering the bow so just watch and see the way i do the rolling okay guys if you have watched this level and hmm, if not subscribed, if you really love my work, please don't hesitate to hit that subscription button. Also hit on the notification bell button so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Yes, it's very important, please. <laughs> now, if you have been watching my videos and you like any of them, guys, support your girl by clicking the like button. Yes, it really encourages me. If you have any question, please... Don't hesitate to ask on the comment section, okay? I also have my WhatsApp group where you can join and learn more. You can send designs you've learned from me. You can throw your questions there. And for the WhatsApp group, if you want to join us there, check the comment section and you'll see the pinned comment there. You can join via the link. I tagged it on the comment section. Yes, we're almost getting to the end of this tutorial, guys. Don't fail to like. Don't fail to subscribe if you want to join the Unique Diverse family, okay? Alright, so I'm pressing it hard so I'll make sure that everything laps well. And next thing I'll be doing is to attach it to this point. You can use a needle and thread to do this attachment, okay? You can use a needle and thread to tack it down if you want. Or you use your glue gun to do the finishing. You can use your glue gun, your candle gun, you can rub it there. And I'll be using this cup chain as the final design. You can see how the cup chain looks. So, guys, thank you for watching. I love you all. See you next time. Bye.